So guys, here is the newest update about Hopu EX um, Satoshi Airdrop withdrawal. And I'm going to make corrections to um, the Hopu EX mission tax, especially the um, mission L, like the uh, mission L tax. I'm going to um, show you how to go about it. I think uh, in my previous video, um, I didn't... Um, I didn't make the real point about the mission hex tax, so I'm going to walk you through on how to go about this, um, the mission hex. And for information's sake, this is the um, latest update about the open EX withdrawal. They said April 13th submission begins, like um, you'll be able to submit your wallet address um, to the Satoshi Hub for withdrawal. Then April 27th uh, submission ends. So from April 13th to April 27th, that's when the submission of the wallet address to the Satoshi app ends. Then they now said, um, starting from April 13th, you can submit your wallet address for uh, OpenEX withdrawal and complete fi um, facial recognition in the Satoshi app. That means we still have one more step to go. Apart from the testnet, we are doing on the testnet app. So from April 13th, you'll be able to do the facial recognitions, just like Heist Network, where you have to do all of those facial verification. Uh, but that will be happening on the Satoshi app. So take note about that. Then wallet address submission window mark um, your mark your calendar, which is from April 13th to April 27th. So they've not uh, really said anything about when they will be listing precisely. So they are just saying when we are going to withdraw from our Satoshi app. But we shall know that they will list. That's it. They're going to list and we're going to be, um, we'll be able to sell it. That's one thing for sure. Just make sure you are doing the test net, do the tax, do everything that you need to do. So that when they eventually listed, you can be able to sell at least something for, to pay for the also. You understand? So that's for the um, newest update. So now let's go to the um, mission L tax on the uh, app, on their app. For, this is the mission L tax where you need um USDT to swap to um o, open EX and AG, AGI. So for those that have done the test net or um, you've done the quiz and you receive the um 10 token 10 USDT token, this is what you need to do with it. You need it in this mission L. I made mention of um um the mission uh, E. This is just submission of your what's it called? The mission here is just the submission of your Satoshi email address and choose your country correctly. The mission um, X, uh, the mission X is for the Twitter binding. You bind your Twitter. Why the mission L, uh, mission C is um, for the uh, boat. For those that don't, don't understand, go to your Telegram. You type this at agix bots underscore bots. Type it on the Telegram channel, uh, on the Telegram uh, um, search button. Use the te uh, search button. Then you type um, at AGIX underscore bot. Then copy this command that you are seeing. Everyone has this um, thing. You have it. Copy this as I don't change this wallet address to your um, to your own wallet address. No. You have to copy the, this um, precise command and paste it to the bot for the both to bind your um, Telegram account to this account. So that's for the mission. See, I'm just trying to uh, review what I've said so far, at least for those that are coming in, you know what to do and where to get started. And to make corrections to my previous video. And I hope this really helps. And guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on the subsequent updates when they eventually launch. So this is um, for the mission hex. Let's assume I want to send for my um, Metamax wallet to um, this um, OpenEX testnet wallet. I'm just going to copy the USDT address. I'll click on receive. Then copy the USDT address. Go to my Metamax. That is after I have done the testnet and you have received the 10 USDT. If you've not received the 10 USDT, you have to go back and do the test net so that you can receive the USDT. That's the that um, USDT that you'll be receiving is what you have to send to this wallet to come um, to come do the swapping um, thing. You swap, so make sure you've done the test net. For those asking, if I do, what if I don't? I don't know about it. Just make sure you go and do it. 
I'll give you what I know. So don't ask what to if you don't. I don't know the implication. So if you are not doing it, then be ready for any implication that comes with it. So this is the USDT. Anyone that has received the test net, uh, done the test net, done the quiz, you should have gotten 10 USDT. So go and do, the, uh, well, that, go and do that first. I have a video about it. You can, you can watch it and see how you're going to do it. So I'll just come to Metamax, even though I've sent the 10 USDT earlier. Let me just use it as an example. You see what I'm doing? I'll just click on one. Let me just send one. Because I've initially sent um, the 10 main USDT. And I'll click. Let me send. So you see, I copied the wallet address from the um, OpenEx app. Then I came, um, come to my Metamax wallet and sent the um, um, the USDT to the OpenEx app. So once I receive it on OpenEx, then I can proceed to the swapping. That's um, what I need to do for the mission L to count. So I will just refresh a bit. Let me let me go back. I'll just refresh and see what we have here. Then this is it. So this is it because I've done some initial swapping earlier. What's going on? I've done some swapping earlier. So now to do, oh, let me just do the swapping again. I'll come to OOP, yeah? Click on swap. Then swap to um, open EX. You see by default is there. I'm swapping to USDT to open EX in here. So this is it. The swap is completed. So you see what I'm having left on my USDT balance? Then we should, um, I can now go back to, after you've done swapping to open EX, also swap to um, AGIX. I've already swapped to AGIX. So if you click on this, uh, what's it called? Um, the, um, this open EX, then you can choose AGI. I've done the swapping already. Then select the amount of USDT and click on swap. That's it. So you have to swap to those um two um um token. Then you now go back to your, your mission X, mission L rather. And I can click on submit. Okay, I need to hold at least one USDT. So let me go to AGI and swap back to USDT. I think I over swapped um, the thing. I should have at least one mini a minimum of what's it called? Um, one USDT in your balance. So I'll just do. Um, let me just do two. Yeah, so I'll just do this too, so I can have one minimum um USDT in my balance to be able to submit that mission L. So now um the shopping has been completed. You see, AG my AGI has decreased um to three pieces down. Let me go back to the mission L and see. You see, the three tokens are green, meaning I have I'm very um. I've done the actual thing that I need to do. They are showing green tick. So now I can now click on submit. And that's it. I've, done, I've completed the mission L. And that's for mission L. So I've, I've completed all of this mission. So except for mission Z, uh, I think the submit button for this mission Z is still kind of, it's not, it's not functioning. I will just keep trying. For those I'm um, asking for the questions, the questions that I give, in fact, when I tried this thing yesterday, it was not the same questions. So the questions that are given, maybe you have to use um, chat GPT because I don't think I have access to all of the questions. I, will, I only have access to what they give me. So the questions they give varies. And the, the, truth, um, the truth is, they keep changing the question. If you sign in today, you do it, you're unable to submit. By the time you go back there tomorrow, you you see another question so you, this is what this is not what i received last um yesterday 
What is gas? A common referred to as fuel in gas is a mechanism with ethereum used to the type of the energy that drives the memory machine. How can you avoid scam link? All of these questions, let me see if the the submit button is not still working. So answering this question is a waste of time at the moment. Because if I answer it and I'm unable to submit, I'll still come back to come answer it in, to come and answer another different questions. I've answered more than five questions already. Five different ones. And still I can't still submit. So I'll just hold on to the submit button works. Um we still have um some kind of uh, enough time. April 13th, yeah. So guys, I think this is I've done justice to this open ex um withdrawal update and the mission tax updates. I hope um this this has settled every um angle. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to my YouTube channel. You can also join the Telegram community so you don't miss out on any of my updates at all. Check out other um videos about other airdrops that you need to start miming, you need to start farming, test net, miming, everything on this channel. Make sure you're positioned, be active, follow back to back so you don't miss out on this season. Thank you for watching. See you guys on the next one.